Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. There are some people that do not want me to preach the truth, no matter how devastating that truth can be to them. Because in their mindset, the truth is different than the way I know the truth to be. So their truth, their perception of the truth, well, no matter how untruthful it is, is not the truth so they can be in their mindset in their own mindset think the truth is this one way when I know truthfully is not that way But see, they don't want they don't want me to say my side of the story. They don't want me to say my truth. They want their truth to be reality, and my truth to be pushed aside. Because in their mindset, well, if they if the truth is really found out, they could get in a lot of trouble. But isn't a preacher supposed to also preach the truth? And not just God's word, but what is, has happened in their past? And not to hide it? Like a lot of preachers do? Because, oh, if the truth was to be known, they could lose their position or they could lose their good standing. But God doesn't want somebody that is that has a position or of good standing in the church. God wants people to obey Him. And if obeying Him means telling the truth, that means that's what you got to do. But which God are you telling the truth for? The God of the earth, which is Satan the devil? Or the God of heaven, which is Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever you want, you know, whatever his name is, because he has multiple names. I call him the English version of Yahweh, which is Jehovah. Now, the other day, someone had posted on this video that I did, preaching on Mark 13 and 2 Timothy 3. Pretending to be Donald Trump. So if I click on this, uh, and it takes me right to this fake Donald Trump YouTube channel. I'm just trying to show people that there is a fake Donald Trump on YouTube. And right here he was saying, I will be appointing a special investigator to research Bob McKim's attempted murder of his son, now, I'm not saying no names. There's no name here. So, if this one person want to get mad, don't get mad at me. Get mad at this person with this fake Donald Trump. Because they are breaking the law, pretending to be somebody that they're not. And that's the truth I'm preaching about. 
If you want to get an attorney, get an attorney. They'll see this video and they'll realize, wait a minute, he's only trying to show people that there's a fake Donald Trump YouTube channel and that fake Donald Trump is saying that uh, they're saying things that isn't true. Supposedly, here in another video, let me get out, get out here and go to that video. Where I was taught preaching about Hosea and where Hosea preached in God's holy word. The Bible. Read it. If you don't want... It, the thing is, a lot of people, all they want to read is the New Testament. They don't want to read the Old Testament. They want to read the New Testament and say, well, we're supposed to be like Jesus. Well, excuse me. Jesus was with God in the Old Testament. He inspired the prophets of the Old Testament to write things down. So if Jesus was in the Old Testament, then why would you not accept what the prophets of old also had to say? And if Hosea preached about his wife and his children, and God used them as an example in Hosea, and other preachers can get away with using their family as an example during their sermons. But yet I'm not allowed to say my sons or my ex or whatever the case may be without a certain person getting all mad and bent out of shape and thinking that they have the right to get an attorney and stop me? More power to you. You know, an attorney will say, you do not have a case because I can preach whatever I want to preach. And if I want to use illustration in my sermons on YouTube, I have that authority. I have that right. And all I'm trying to do is get across to people Here is at the that isn't it. Hang on a second. I think that's where's it here. Let me see here. I'm looking for that video. Actually. No, they might have took it off. Yeah, I think they took the comment off. But before they took their comment off, I saved their comment. I saved their comment. This is Jennifer J. Which is supposed to be from Canada. So you like me as Donald Trump? Is what they said. Of course now I cannot find... I cannot find their post on uh, my YouTube. I go here to my YouTube channel and look under look under that video. So here's the video that I made just the other day, and then I go here. And now all that, all there is is uh, comments. Unless I click on show more. All right, here we go. Here's more. Right here. Okay. Right here, Jennifer J. So you like me as Donald Trump? And then all these Christian channelers, this fake uh, Robert McCam, Clyde Cash, um, 
Yeah. So if Trump finds out someone's impersonating him, he might take action very every time someone writes his name, he has access to what is being said and by whom Secret Service do these things. They just keep digging a hole. So in other words, yeah, uh, Christian, Christine Chandler, Christian Chandler, also AKA Clyde Cash, and this Robert McKim, I think is somebody pretend to be me from uh, Afghanistan. And this Jennifer J supposed to be from Canada. Guess what? I'm calling the Secret Service. FBI and the Secret Service on you. So, uh, you think uh, you're smart by pretending to be Donald Trump and saying all these things about me on my YouTube channel? You just dug your own grave once and for all. And as far as this other people saying that I'm saying names, I'm not saying my son's names. I'm not saying my ex's name. I'm not saying names. <coughs> so you're getting mad bent out of shape for nothing. Really, when it comes right down to it, you should be mad that someone else is falsely accusing me. But no, you don't want to get mad at them. You always want to get mad at me. I'm the bad guy. I'm the problem of everybody else's problems. It's like Renee, she's having constant sinusitis. Sinus drainage, sinus drainage, sinus drainage, sinus drainage. That causes her to cough and cough and cough and cough. She coughs it up. It's real thick. Mucus. And all they, they think I shouldn't say anything about Renee's health problems. The problem is, Medicare doesn't care. And Medicaid doesn't care. Because just found out the other day, when we went for our algae tests, yeah, Renee's doing a little bit better, or their allergies than I am. But I just found out that according to what they had found out recently, about two years ago, Medicare changed their rules where they don't allow people to go and get their uh, vials and bring them home. But I'm like, well, I've been doing that now for over a year. Since 2015, the fourth month of 2015, been bringing the vials home, getting uh, algae syringes, and doing them at home. Medicare thinks well, I should go to a doctor and have it done. My doctor's 30 miles away. That costs taxpayers more money in the long run for me to go. 30 miles away once a week to have it done in the office. When I could, I do my, I do my insulin at home. Why can't I do my allergy shots at home? Because there might be some kind of reaction. Well, the thing is, we were charting the reactions and calling the doctor's office and letting them know. What should we do? And then he, we was constantly monitoring ourselves and calling the doctor. The problem is, they say they want to spend less on health care, but yet in the long run, they want to pay more for health care. As our bureaucrats for us. And this is the truth I'm trying to get out. We were able to do something, and then we're not able to do something. 
then uh, people want me to not say anything about my sons or my ex. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not bringing up names. I'm just using them as an illustration. But I'm not saying anything about my youngest son. I'm not really saying anything about my oldest son. They're the ones that brought it up. And they're the ones that keep bringing it up. And that makes me angry that they keep posting this stuff over and over and over again. I've told them I don't know how many times to stop. But I guess once I call the FBI and the Secret Service that someone is pretending to be Donald Trump on YouTube, and I think I know who it is, because I have some names. These people, well, they'll see their computers go bye-bye. God bless you. Have a blessed day.